Here's a great example of how if we know the SAT, we should be able to lock up these points. And I know they're at the end of a hard passage in a long reading section where you might be running out of time. But remember, we use this for the, um, the math section all the time where the questions are in order of difficulty, but we can use it here. That's not the case. They're not in order of difficulty here, but they are kind of grouped by difficulty. And we should know from experience that questions that involve graphs are supposed to be easy. So we have to trust that. We have to sense that that's probably the case. And I know that this is talking about the passage as a whole, but we don't need it. I put it there, but we don't need it. And that's because the graph has to be the evidence of the choice. And yes, the passage is gonna to touch on that as well, but we really are being asked about the graph here. So we need to go to the graph and kind of try to get the most basic, easy understanding as, as we possibly can. So let's just look at these choices. What, what is the graph saying and, and how does it relate to the choice? Well, years from introduction of the concept of a particle to the experimental confirmation. So that's literally just going through a bunch of particles, showing us when they were uh, introduced and then proven. So what does the graph do? It indicates that the scientific community's quick acceptance of the Higgs boson was typical. Well, look at the Higgs boson. Look at how long that line is. I don't know, it doesn't seem quick to me. It looks longer than all the other lines. So, I don't know, that doesn't seem right. And also, what? this is a subjective word, typical. How do I know? I mean, what's to say? Does this line look like all the other lines? Not really, if anything, it looks worse, it looks longer. So it doesn't look typical, it looks different. So again, I'm not aware of the science here. I'm not really that well-versed in this, I just, I'm looking at the length of a line and just kind of making a simple assumption. That's okay, this is supposed to be an easy question. B, it places the discussion of the reception of the Higgs boson into a broader scientific context. Well, okay, well here's the Higgs boson and then here's a bunch of other particles. So it's talking about the boson and broader scientific context. Well, I guess because it's talking about other particles, that seems reasonable. I don't know if it's right, but it seems like a logical jump from what I'm looking at. Let's look at the others and see if we can find anything better. C, it demonstrates that the Higgs boson was regarded differently than were other hypothetical particles. Well, I don't really get that here. What makes it regarded differently? I mean, it's got a line. It's, it's, it's look, they introduced it. It's longer, maybe, but regarded differently? Well, here's the problem here. I, it's not even just the word the different that bothers me. It's that word regarded. Look at this graph. Does it say anything about what people thought about the Higgs boson? No, it says two things about the boson. It says when it was introduced and when it was confirmed. And I guess that's 2012 when it was confirmed. But look at what it says about every other particle. When it was introduced and when it's confirmed. So that's all I know about how these particles were regarded, what people thought of them. So according to this, it seems like all the particles had some moment where they were regarded, uh, you know, as introduced, but not as confirmed and then later confirmed. So this is fitting into a pattern. It's not breaking a pattern. So just, it's not right. I don't know what the people thought about the boson. It's not on the graph. D, it clarifies the ways in which the Higgs boson represented a major discovery. Well, how does it clarify it, right? Turn that into a question. Why was the Higgs boson a major discovery? Can you point to anything on this chart to answer that question? I can't. So it, this is too subjective. It doesn't say anything on the chart. Now in the passage, they definitely you know talk it up and talk about the Higgs boson quite a bit, making us think that it's a major discovery. But the graph is supposed to say it. And that's why we want to stick to the graph for these questions. If, if, if possible, we shouldn't have to look at the passage. Occasionally we will, but most of the time we won't need to and the graph is supposed to do most of the work. And so if something isn't shown on the graph, it really doesn't matter if it's talked about in the passage. The graph is supposed to say it too. And so it's not said here. Whereas it does say something about the broader scientific context because it has a bunch of other particles. Simplest assumption is the right assumption. Gets me the right answer. Get these questions right as much as you can.